Do you want to know what the best UK clinical app is? In this episode, I'm going to show you and my walkthrough guide of it. Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. If this is the first time we're meeting, I'm Dr. Gandalf of EGP Learning, where I look at supporting you with technology enhanced primary care and learning. And in this episode, I'm going to show you a walkthrough guide of what I think to be the best UK clinical app. Miles above the rest, and it's just so effective and useful. What are we talking about? The BNF app. As always, if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to contact me on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, whatever you prefer. Love it if you could leave a review on the podcasting platforms if that's listening to us, especially on iTunes. And as always, I'm here to help save you and your patients time by tech enhancing your primary care and learning. Shall we begin? Hey, GP learners. So I'm going to show you a walkthrough guide of what I think to be the best UK clinical app, and that's the BNF app. If you want to access it, it's dead easy to do. Just go to your app store download the app. It is the free version. And as a result of that, you will need to log in using your nhs.net email account to get free access. Pretty easy and quick to do. Do check your emails because they'll send a registration link through to that. Once you're done, simply open the app. So I'm hopefully going to have this come up on the screen right now. So from the screen of my phone, let's have a look. First of all, you open up the app as you can see here. So I click on the BNF icon and it opens up to a screen that shows the drugs in alphabetical list order for whatever you want to browse through. And it's pretty easy to do. So you simply just click on a letter. So we go for A. And as you can see, a variety of different medications and things that you can look at. And you can pick one that particularly speaks to you. So let's have a look at Adapalene. And as a result, it'll give you various different pieces of information from the BNF itself. So indication and dose, uses, licensed or unlicensed, cautions, patient advice, all that kind of stuff. Then it'll also give you information about pregnancy or breastfeeding elements and stuff, as well as other drugs in the class pretty easy to use. If you wanted to, you can search for other drugs by using the search tab. If you wanted to find something particular, so I could type in Alverin. And as you can see, it brings it up fairly quickly and effectively. But that's not the limit of what the BNF app can do. If you click on the three marks at the top, it brings up various other options such as treatment summaries, medical devices, an interaction checker, borderline substances, dental prescribing formulary, guidance, nursing prescribing formulary, wound care, and a little bit of information about the app and the settings and stuff. In terms of the treatment summaries, I'd really have a look, recommend having a look at these. And these give you information about various different conditions that you can research and look into. So if we go into anti-infective, and if we were to look at various different things, so we could have a look at ear infections, antibacterial therapy, gives you options for both otitis externa and otitis media. And as a result, it gives you a really good summary of the condition itself in terms of what kind of therapies you need to consider, as well as which ones to look at using. If you were to look at other sections, they can also give you lots of good information there. But if you look at other areas, so there's medical devices, so this is useful for finding out different types of things like blood testing strips, um, ketone monitoring, that kind of thing, as well as other kind of things. So on here, we've also got spacers. If you want to find a good spacer device to prescribe, it gives you the various different names, brands, and approximate costs. Remember, the cost may not be completely accurate because this is the time of publishing that the national level may not be the same that's reflected locally. As I said, there are various other sections as well. The interaction checker works really well. So you can compare different types of medications. So for example, if we were to search for bisoprolol as a beta blocker versus verapamil, a rate limiting calcium channel blocker, click on check. And as you can see, it marks up as a severe interaction. These two medications should not be prescribed together. Pretty useful at times. In addition, as I said, there's various other sections that you can look at in terms of borderline substances guidance, which actually is quite good. So it gives you guidance on how to use the BNF app itself and the content within it. And you can look at various different things. So for example, guidance on prescribing, you've got general guidance, rules about deprescribing, which is a key hot topic and stuff, and various other pieces of information. The key power of this app, however, is the fact that it is so searchable. The fact that you can just type in anything and find it. One thing to remember, so for example, if I was to search again for Alverin, um, it brings up the information of the app itself. However, if we go back, it may not always bring up the full options in terms of what you want to see. So an alternative would be if we were to search for spasm. So that's one of the things that Alverin can be used to treat. However, many of you will probably know that that's not the only medication that can be used for treating for spasms. The reason why it doesn't bring up those information depends on which section you're in. And as you can see, it has this button that says search the rest of the BNF. 
you want to click on that and it'll actually bring up much more options in terms of what you can search for so for example if you have to all antispasmodics it then brings up the various sections and you can have a look at that and as you can see it brings up the information about the various different types of drugs you could consider it's a lot more effective when you do it that way other benefits of using the app well one thing it does also include is the children's bnf and i think this is the true power of the bnf app itself so the fact that you can switch just by going to this top corner, you can see this little drop down arrow that currently is selected on BNF. If you change that and go to the BNF for children. And then as a result, it gives you information that's relating to the BNF children's uh, drug doses, indications and all that kind of stuff. And that's really handy because you're not having to carry around two different versions of the BNF. So easy. And this is probably the biggest thing about it. You're not having to carry around the physical versions of the BNF itself, which are quite chunky and weighty. And because this is automatically searchable using technology, much easier and quicker to use. And that's why I think for me personally, this is the best clinical app around. A lot of clinical systems will have this kind of information integrated either directly through the BNF or through other versions. For example, System 1 has its own version of a drug browser. Um, but effectively, this is, as many consider it, the Bible of medical knowledge when it comes to medications and stuff. And I would really recommend using and having this app on your phone. This is a must do for any person who is a prescriber in clinical care. It could be better if it had in live information about drug pricing and tariffs. And obviously we have had challenges in terms of supplies, medications, and that would be nice to have. And that is something where I think some other apps can sometimes have better impact. So for example, MIMS is quite good at giving information about supply options, specifically in tables and things like HRT or combined contraceptive pills and that kind of stuff. But yeah, for me personally, this is still one of the best medical apps available. What do you guys think? Have you got any comments or questions about using the BNF app? Would you use it? If you don't like using it, can you give me a reason why? I'd love to hear one. As I said, I think this is probably the best one around in terms of use for clinical practice. And I would highly recommend every single clinician, particularly those that are prescribers, have access to this because it's just so easy to use and effective and updated. The best thing about it. It will always be live updated on the app compared to the books, which will be out today. Unfortunately, the date that they're printed. So definitely cost saving, definitely information flow is a lot better and a little bit save the environment as well if you're using the app versus the book version. As always, guys, I love it. You could leave me a comment or question to let me know what you think. Um, available on all of our platforms in terms of Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram. Love it if you could leave a review. Tell me what you think of this episode. Was it useful? Was it not? Are you going to download the app? The links will be down in the bottom if you want to. And as always, we're here to help save you and your patient's time by tech enhancing your primary care and learning. Catch you in the next episode.